Hi, I'm back. And so we did seven, about 75% of her platinum card. And now I got to do this side. I mixed some new bleach. I got my foils ready. I have my comb here. I got my clips. We're good to go. And so we're doing the same procedure. So I'm sectioning her hair right here. Establishing my baseline. Okay, so we're clipping this out of the way. And for all over blondings, I always like to layer a little foil around the ear so I don't burn the skin of the person. So I'm just gonna take a little foil right here. And because I'm left-handed, this is like my best side and so Half an inch away from the scalp. We're going to go back and do the roots once I get these parts of her hair blonde. And I did a front and back sections. So once the hair is done processing, I rinse off the bleach and then I just keep applying, applying it. So that way I don't over process the hair. Because, you know, it doesn't make sense to leave the bleach on on the parts of the hair where it's blonde while and waiting for the rest of it to catch up. That's what I've noticed is it's good to just like rinse as you go along and that's why I love doing blondes through foils and that's why I also love to do the highlights because that's and that's I always do that if I see that the hair is blonde already and I'm waiting for the rest of the hair to catch up I just take a paper towel with some cold water and then I just start you know removing the bleach little by little. Uh, and it's to save the hair, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to over process the hair. So you see I'm t doing very little, very little uh, of the product. And this section is nice and saturated. So I'm taking a foil and I'm closing it, ready for the next section. And to save foil, and you know, I, I just bricklaid and I just do every other foil. So I take this section of hair. Put this out of the way and you know the bleach is like a, a one to one to one ratio one scoop of powder with an ounce of cream and an ounce of the peroxide and so see I'm just feathering it on like so sure that all, all of this is nicely saturated. Okay, so let's see if we can get this done in 10 minutes. I'm just opening up the hair so there is no patchiness. I see that her ends need a little more of the bleach.
She looks like Grace Jones, kind of, doesn't she? <laughs> I just gotta put a purple hoodie on her. <laughs> I love Grace Jones. Very iconic and very ahead of her time. I love Grace Jones and Boomerang. With Eddie Murphy. That was like the, one of the best movies ever. I remember Whitney Houston had a blonde that was very similar to this. I liked it on her. That was also my favorite movie, one of my favorites, The Bodyguard. Like, 92 was a good year for movies. That was the year of Death Becomes Her, it was the year of Boomerang, and it was also the year of, uh, of The Bodyguard. All of my favorites. Okay, so I'm taking a diagonal section, taking small sections, not large chunks of hair. Same thing. I'm just pretending that this is a, a foiling board. So I'm just applying the lightener. I'm just saturating the hair as much as possible. And I'm just gliding it on. This is exciting, we're getting very close to the finish line. Isn't my dolly gorgeous? Okay. See, we have, uh, we have this much hair right here, and Oh my god, this is totally Whitney Houston from The Bodyguard when she was in, in that Queen of the Night music video, do you remember? And she was on all the silver. Okay, so just applying the lightener. Yeah, I was a huge fan of Whitney Houston's hair. She always had that like really nice golden, like bleached blonde. I love, I love the bl that blonde on her. My mother was also a huge Whitney Houston fan. Okay, because her hair is thick. I ran out of bleach and that's okay, I'm just gonna mix after I saturate this strand of hair right here. Okay, so I'll be right back. I just have to mix this strand and then I have to let it uh, process. It's gonna be a good one.